Hi guys, welcome to day 25 of my daily challenge, which is to train and learn every day. So it's Thursday the 27th of January 2022. Uh, the training for today, back on the trail run again, we've got two more days. So today, second last day of the 12k trail run. Uh, you'll see some, that's what some of it looks like, other parts are all rocky and uh, lots of coastline, which is good. Um, the lesson for today is about situational awareness and the importance of of having situational awareness and spreading the the word the intelligence throughout the team or being up to date with whatever the situation may be so um in the tactical response group so if we're going to do a job if we're going to do a, a raid on a say a drug drug dealing house we'd have a briefing before we went um myself or one of the team leaders would have come up with a plan and um, in conjunction with others, we'd you know we'd use others to come up with the plan, and then we'd brief the plan to the whole team before we left uh, the office, usually or on the road if it was an urgent job. Um, so the situation was a, an important part of the planning, and um, the reason for having the situation at the start of the briefing is just to provide the updates on the job, provide the background to the job, the bad guy, the house that we're going to, the car park that we're going to take him out in whatever it may be um, provide the background to the history of the people that we're dealing with uh, the weapons that they've been known to carry the amount of drugs what they're doing with the drugs um, how they're dealing things just so we know exactly we have we get a picture in our mind before we go of uh, what's likely to happen uh, that situational awareness that the team needs to be fully aware because they're the ones making the decisions at the last three seconds when they when they go through the door or when they're taking out the car or whatever it may be so they need to have all that background information beforehand and one of the important things especially in the policing world of tact policing tactical world is to justify um, all your actions so you're justifying your actions um, a lot of that is the situation and the um, intelligence that you've been given before you started the job and that's why you made certain decisions so you can explain that later just got a slight interruption now. I got passed by my wife on the trail run, so she's now confirmed ahead of me, and I'm going to have to catch up and try and win the competitive battle. Um, but back to situational awareness. So um, when the job's on, so it might be sitting in cars out of rain, out of distance, or uh, snipers might be in the bushes somewhere, whatever the job may be. Um, we'll be getting updates all the time. So just brief updates on whether the bad guy or bad guys are on the phone talking to people. They might have people. We might have a crowd coming around to do a drug deal, which changes the situation again. So now we've got, instead of two people in the house, we've got six people in the house. Um, situation, situational awareness on things like um, they might, the main bad guy might have a history and often has a history of, you know, they'll flush the drugs as quick as they can when the normal police try and raid the house. So we need to know where they're doing it, how they're doing it, and uh, how do we get to those wet areas there and stop them flushing drugs down sinks and toilets and things. Um, all that so it's really important that, that all the team knows what's going on and with the mission focus um, to go with that they're they're going to be focused on the mission but they're also going to be aware of aware of what's likely to happen at the job even though you know things change rapidly um had a had a mishap in the surf boat rowing years ago went to the national titles but throughout the season the rules have been changing on surf boat racing which is full of thrills and spills so Quite often, not everyone finishes in the boat, or the boat's upside down, or you know, big waves can cause a few bit of havoc, which is why it's fun. Um, the rules had changed from three people have to finish in the boat to everyone has to finish in the boat for safety reasons at the start of the year, and then uh, in the middle of the year, we'd missed a few races and a few meetings, and they changed the rules again, little known to us, that only three people had to finish in the boat again. Um, we went to the Aussies. Caught a big wave and the guy at the back, we always say fell out, but he got knocked out by a big wave. And um, we sat there waiting for him to get back in the boat because we thought that everyone had to be in the boat at the finish to, to qualify. Meanwhile, the boats that we've beaten in the race passed us across the line um, and they got through the next round and we missed out because we had not been fully aware of everything that was going on. So even though we're doing a surf boat race, we're rowing to the best of our ability. We didn't have the situational awareness to know what the rules were, um, how we had to finish, what we had to do to, to win the race. So it's really important in everything that, that you, your team, 
your business that people are updated all the time. Uh, even though you've got it in your head, you might be the boss or the manager. And are other people aware? And yes, there's things that you probably can't tell them, but anything that you can give information on, do it so that you can expect those, those uh, team members and people around you to make good decisions based on knowing the majority of what you know. So that's it for today. Um, the importance of situational awareness in any situation. And I'll uh, see you tomorrow.